Hey, just because a food is natural or organic doesn't necessarily mean that it's not inflammatory. I wanna talk about a food additive called carrageenan, which is actually a natural food additive. Now what carrageenan is, it's a thickener. It's something that's used in almond milks, it's used in low fat dairy products, yogurts, things like that, to add some nice consistency, to smooth it out, to thicken it up. And the thing is, it's from a natural source. Carrageenan is derived from red seaweed. It's just a component of the red seaweed. So it really is natural in a sense, but there have been a lot of links to some pretty scary things, and I wanna give you three reasons to avoid carrageenan. The number one reason is it's simply inflammatory. There is a link between carrageenan and cellular inflammation, and it's been proven in a lot of studies. In fact, carrageenan can even be used to instigate inflammation within test subjects. So if a test subject needs to show symptoms of inflammation, they'll actually give that test subject carrageenan to produce inflammation. That's a pretty scary buy sign right there. In addition to that, in a 2011 diabetes study, test subjects were given carrageenan in a solution of water. Now basically what they were monitoring was the effect on glucose tolerance and glucose impact, but also insulin sensitivity. Well, it didn't take long to find that carrageenan had a dramatic impact on insulin sensitivity in a negative way and also decreased glucose tolerance dramatically. This means that carrageenan can have a link to diabetes, which in and of itself is very inflammatory. Now that's scary enough for me to avoid it. The second reason is so simple and so scary, it doesn't need much explanation. Basically, way back when in 1982, the International Agency for Research on Cancer declared carrageenan as an official carcinogen. That simply means that there is a clinical link between carrageenan and cancer. Now, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not gonna go into detail, but that is frightening for me. Now, the number one reason I want you to stay away from carrageenan, and this is an important one given all the kind of things I generally talk about, is the fact that it can cause a leaky gut. What that means is carrageenan has been shown in some studies to increase intestinal permeability. What that means is that it can make it so that your intestinal tract can actually leak some of the things that are inside of it. Even larger particles, including particles that are components of carrageenan. This can damage the lymphatic system, it can damage your lymph nodes, it can do all kinds of things, but in addition to that lymph node damage, it can make it hard for you to absorb your nutrients. And when you don't absorb your nutrients well, that can lead to a world of hurt. So what can you do? How do you avoid carrageenan? Well, the good news is it's getting easier because a lot of companies are realizing that people are wanting to stay away from it because of its inflammatory issues. So you'll see now in a lot of labels that things say carrageenan free or no carrageenan added. But all you simply have to do is flip the package over, look in the ingredient list, and make sure that there's no carrageenan. It's that simple. You'll likely find that it has xanthan gum instead, but xanthan gum is a lot less hard on the body than carrageenan. And I know it's a mouthful to say, it's a mouthful to read, but I promise you, you will start feeling better if you can keep an eye out for that. I'll see you in the next video.